Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. This is RP Gaming and today I'm playing Ranch Simulator. This is the unstable branch on my Steam library that I'm checking out. It's the Unreal Engine and I thought I would give it a look-see and uh, I've had the game in my library uh, right from the uh, day it was probably available. I, I love simulator games and um, so I thought I would just see what's going on with the Unreal Engine 5. It's been a while since I've been in the game and uh, yeah so I just thought we'd check it out. So right off the bat base movement there uh, the menu does not show uh, the keys that you need to move with but like uh, all games it's going to be W, it's going to be S, it's going to be A, and it's going to be D. So that is going to take care of that and we are going to look around with our mouse and uh, that takes care of that. Let's take a look at the sprinting. Obviously, uh, in most games, it's shift, and it is in this game as well. I'm sure the this is on the unstable branch, uh, very much a beta uh, of the game. Uh, so far, I've played it. I've played it for a little bit uh, before, you know, recording a little bit of this video. And uh, I, I really like it. I like it a lot. So I thought I would uh, jump in and try to do a little uh, series on it, see how far we can get. Uh, on the unstable branch, knowing full well that things could fall apart, anything could happen. But having said that, space bar to jump. In order to change the camera view, we're going to hit the letter V. And that shifts us from our right over the shoulder look, left side, to our left over the shoulder look, right side. I prefer this side. And hold it down for a second and we'll go right into first person. All right, so let's uh, let's do the uh, quest. So right there, um, it's telling us welcome to the ranch and to follow the blue icon and uh, read the letter. Uh, so we're just gonna follow exactly what the game wants us to do and, and, and look uh, at the visuals the the uh, new update this new unreal update uh, I, I love it palette seems very very uh, vivid vibrant a little more richness in the color I love it all right so let's read uh, grandpa's letter hello grandchild if you read this letter then you agree to fulfill my last will and come to our family ranch. It is desolate because I do not have the time and opportunity to deal with it. Come into the house. I left a few things in the attic that will help you. I believe in you, your loving grandfather. Excellent. All right, so now it wants us to turn on the radio uh, and to find our tent. So we'll do that. Our tent is right here. And let's go ahead and save the game by holding down the R button. And if we wanted to sleep, we would just hold down our E button to do that. I've assigned, reassigned my E button to my side mouse button. I, uh, I prefer that uh, as opposed to the E button. And that's a good thing that you are allowed to do that in the, um, in the options to remap, uh, remap your buttons. I love that part. All right, so we found the tent. That's checked off. Let's get right over here to the radio. So I'm running this on a uh, 3080 with an Intel i7. And it seems to, uh, seems to run pretty nicely for me. I don't, I don't have any, I have not seen anything that would uh, indicate otherwise. Okay, so the radio is right here. And I turned it on, but I don't hear any music. Oh, I think I have the music. <laughs> I have the music turned down. <laughs> I don't like music in the uh, in the gameplay. Uh, okay, so now we're going to uh, we're instructed now to head upstairs, and also we're uh, entering into this little tutorial here, where we'll pick our crowbar and demolish that mattress. I'm just going to demolish that door, and that's it. I'm not going to demolish anything else. We will wait on that and continue over here to our. There's a chest right here. We'll open this up. And inside we have some money. 
and we have a pistol and we have some ammunition and another letter take this revolver in the forest there are many wild animals that can cause you trouble I have left some money and ammo one more thing you will need a car in the garage at the entrance of the ranch there is an old UTV you will need to use spare parts you find here to fix it up good luck all right let's do that I'm gonna take the elevator down here I know I can I know it's here somewhere almost almost there we go all right so let's head out of this house find our way out it's getting dark okay so you can hit the L and you'll turn on a, a magic headlamp this will help me get out of the house all right very good all right we've completed that and um, now we're going to put together the buggy all right in here is our UTV and now we have to pick up the parts that are scattered around here this is the gas tank and pick up with the left mouse button and to install you would press the E key or in my case my side mouse mouse button there's a tire right here we'll pick this up we'll attach it these tires are just junk and you can't interact with them at all and there's a tire around the side here we'll pick this one up there we go let's go around here pick up this tire and attach it and let's uh, run nice thing is I, I don't have a stamina bar so here's our last tire and we'll go ahead and attach that so we need two seats and a bumper right here pop that in there let's grab the last seat and just pop this uh, seat right here and that com completes first steps all right so now it wants us to pick up the jerry can which is the jerry can which is right here and pick this up now this is the placement tutorial i love this the way the game uh uh, works in this way so we pick up with the left mouse button hold our right mouse button and we'll get this uh, green outline and this will allow us to put the can uh, you know pretty accurately where we want I like to put it right there I put it with the nozzle facing out and when we get to the gas station you'll see why all right so that takes care of that and now it would like us to uh, uh, go to the gas station so let's do that all right, let's get some gas into the uh, can here. And this is why I have it facing out this way so that I can just pop it right in. And there, that completes that quest. Very good. So we will now head over to the real estate the map is very very small so it's it's really easy to uh, to find everything that you need to find all right here we are at the um, real estate slash bank and we'll talk to this NPC uh, good day are you by any chance the new owner of one of these nearby ranches yes I am in that case, I must give you the construction manual. This book will help you to rebuild your ranch. Keep in mind that construction is only permitted on your ranch territory. All right, that's, thank you. Uh, that's all they wanted to tell me, and good luck on my ranch. Okay, so this gives us our ability to start to uh, build on our ranch. So we'll take care of that. Now we need to talk to the car salesman. into the door 
very dark in here. So the developers have yet to kind of get lighting other than the ambient light that comes through windows. So it is what it is. Welcome here. You can buy a car, customize it. For all our new customers, we install radio players in their four wheelers for only $10. Just drive into the garage behind the building, install the radio. If you want to buy a vehicle, use the computer in front of me. Okay. Uh, goodbye. So if we wanted to buy a vehicle, we would just go right here and use this menu here in order to cycle through the choices. Cars are not uh, priced that bad, actually. So uh, we will eventually be buying a new vehicle as this series develops. But for right now, we're just doing the, the tutorial, getting it out of the way. All right, so let's install the radio. Okay, so right here, use this menu to cycle through what we want to have done. So in this case, we're going to pick the radio, and we're going to upgrade for the $10, completing the quest. We can also, at this point, give our, um, we could give our, our vehicle a little bit of a uh, paint job here, fix it up make it look a little uh, better but I'm not going to do that I don't want to spend the money so we'll, we'll go with the beat up one for now all right so now we need to hit the hardware store so let's uh, let's hit the hardware store all right here we are at the hardware store came in through the back entrance because the things that we buy will be put right out on that uh, area of the store. So we'll just walk through the door to instigate the quest, walk back through and complete the quest. We are going to buy an axe, a crowbar, and a cheap table saw. One axe, one crowbar, one cheap table saw, uh, sorry, one cheap table saw. Got a little tongue tied. My apologies. I'm also going to get ahead of myself. I'm going to add a cooler. And uh, as we go, you'll see why I did that. And so there's the three items that we need to complete the quest, plus my extra item that I know I will need. And I'm just going to get that now. And we're going to exit out of that and move along. And collect our purchase. Left mouse button to pick up, right mouse button to put down. Pick that up, goes into your inventory. Pick this up, and that goes into your inventory. So that was the crowbar and the axe. These are our purchased items, the saw and the cooler that I will explain uh, why I have the cooler. All right, here we are at the general store. Uh, we do have to talk, so we'll talk here, and they're basically letting us know that uh, welcome to make a purchase, use the terminal in the next room, purchase items will be outside. For more information on livestock, view the glossary. To sell items, place them in the area next to me and confirm the sale using the terminal. Okay, so that would be done outside, so we'll see that when we buy something here. And what we're going to buy is an egg basket and two chickens. So let's get our two chickens. We'll add them. And we'll add our egg basket. We'll go ahead and purchase these. And there we go. So now our household funds are down to $223.90. And we've fulfilled, I think, everything that we're going to need to purchase uh, for this episode. Our chickens are held over here. This is the area they were saying. Anything with a shopping cart in it is where you'll pick up items and put items to be sold. Uh, one of the things that I've learned playing the game is you can actually just keep everything in your truck. Uh, say uh, the cooler there that I picked up, and let's talk about why I picked that up. 
picked up the cooler so that if we uh, kill any deer, we pick up the deer meat with the cooler. The cooler can hold 24 pieces of deer meat. Otherwise, you'd have to just put the deer meat singular as a single piece of unit inside the back, and, and that's not going to cut it. So we have the cooler because we know we are going to have to kill some deer at some point. And uh, I just got a little head on that, and that's why. So that explains the cooler at this point. And obviously the basket is for the eggs and the table saw we have. So let's go ahead and fit our chickens in here. I love the uh, animation. I love the, uh, the detail and the, and the animals in this game. Really well done. In fact, this whole unstable branch using Un Unreal Engine 5 is, I, I think it's... It's great. I love it. It seems to be running well for me. I don't have any issues. Haven't seen any any kind of uh, visual glitches that would, you know, indicate anything's going wrong with my uh, with my video settings. And it's it's got me set pretty much on an ultra with a couple of high settings in there as well. So there you go. There's our chickens. And now we need to uh, go back to the ranch and um, just drop this stuff off. So let's do that. All right, here we are back at the ranch. And now, let's see. Place chickens on the ground. Well, that's easy enough. Here you guys go. So left mouse button to pick up, right mouse button, uh, right mouse button <laughs> to put down. All right, we'll take our, uh, actually I'm gonna leave the cooler in here because we're actually gonna need it. I'll take the egg basket, we'll put it on the table, a little picnic table here. And we'll take our table saw and we'll put that out here because we are gonna use it. And uh, so at this point, we want to get the grain that's inside here. We'll follow this blue dot. And there's a bag of grain in the broken down refrigerator. And we'll put this down for our chickens. Here you go, guys, right over here. There you go. Some nice wheat grain for you guys. But what's a, what's a meal without something to drink? Let's get some water. We got our little water bucket here. I don't know how much water is in here, but uh, hopefully enough to uh, last until we get a well built. And we'll put the water right there. And now we'll get our bucket and pick up the bucket and place the bucket right in front of there. Beautiful. Now that just fills up automatically. And then once it's filled, the hose will disappear. And I just leave it there. It's at 7077. And this way I can tell if they're drinking it. So I just leave it right there. I don't move it from there. And this is why I had the spigot right down there facing out so that I could get it lined up like that. Uh, so that takes care of that. Now we need to build them a small coop. All right, so where are we going to place this coop? Because the coop is only going to be temporary. We will, uh, we will remove the coop at a later time. So go into the build menu by holding down our tab, grabbing our hammer. And right here we have individual build pieces on this tab. Allows us to build freely walls, ceilings, stairs, windows, uh, wooden gates, every, everything you need. We're going to use prefab and we're going to use the small coop right here. But eventually what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the expensive coop, which will hold uh, 30 hens. And this is for serious uh, production here. So that that's what we will be doing. But right now we can only afford to give them this little box. We'll choose this box. Uh, if you want to know how to tell the front from the back, what I do is if, if you turn it around here and look, you'll see the hinges 
There's hinges on the top because the top flips up. So I keep the hinges going that uh, towards the back of the uh, of the blueprint. And then I'm just, just temporary. I'm going to place it right there against the wall and close that book. And if you walk up to it, it'll tell you you need uh, 15 wooden planks to build this. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We've got some logs right here that are to be fed into our uh, saw that we picked up right here. So better yet, let's just take our saw and we'll just put it right here by our logs and it feeds this way and we'll shoot our boards out on this end, collect the boards and fill it right there. So we'll go get our gasoline And we will put the gas in. Now, at that point, I fill it up. I go ahead and remove that, shut it off. I'm going to go ahead and put my gasoline over here for right now. All right, so now let's just go ahead and take these logs. And I need to turn this back on. Line that up. Awesome. I love the uh, I love the, the artwork. I love the asset. I love the model. It's just great looking. It's just awesome. And go ahead and cut that. Right down to the uh, flying uh, wood chips. Right? We had now this one isn't doing that. Let's see if this one does. Let's see if we get some wood chips to fly. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and conserve our gasoline and turn our, turn our table saw off. We'll pick these up using uh, the left mouse button. We'll go right on over here and feed them right in. That's only six. We still have to get more planks so they gave us three here so at this point what we're going to do i'm going to go over here we're going to hold our action button in my case it's my side left mouse button for you it's probably going to be the e unless you change it and we'll run over here and we'll uh we'll feed a few more of these in oh turn that on pick that up feed that in Do this last log and then see if we need to cut any more trees in order to satisfy our we need a six uh, we got six in and we need six and four is ten and five is nine so we'll need a full stack of eight you can hold eight as a full stack and there's one left there so that should and there we go done and turn that off and at this point we have built the coop fed the chickens and in order to uh, your livestock you determine their satisfact you know their needs set and how they're satisfied uh, right here just hover over it and he's healthy and he's you know I mean that I think that would be a normal you know, situation for them. They've ate, they've drank. Obviously, that's going to go down over time. And then they're going to have to feed themselves. Let's see how this guy's doing. He's not doing too bad. They'll lay their eggs at night. And hopefully, uh, if we open this up, they'll actually use it. They'll, they'll go in there. So the feed's here. Next time, we'll open the top up. And we'll just drop the feed right down in here. And, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Pretty cool. Temporary, though, for right now. So, to finish off this episode, we're going to demolish the house. Now, it is uh, in the, later in the afternoon at about uh, 1800. It starts to get uh, too dark to record. 
So we'll start the demo and see if we can get it done before uh, 1800. <laughs> so I'll see you right after this thing is demoed. All right, there we go. We completed the, uh, the demolition. Congratulations. You have completed the introductory quests and, na and now know the basics. You are free to explore the open world, build additional facilities, purchase and breed animals, obtain new vehicles, go hunting, expand upon your ranch, see the glossary for more details. It's time to build your homestead in a prosperous ranch. Good luck. I think that's probably the fastest I've burned through the tutorial. We used the, the first day. We're at 1900. Uh, at 2000, it's absolutely dark. And that's when I sleep, and that's when the game will save. And that's when, let me put my crowbar away. And that's when we will uh, pick up on the next episode is day zero everything's done we we have this is very minor so what i mean by minor is it's literally point and click takes nothing to do this part of the game where you're just going to clean up around the uh around the homestead let's turn on the light and uh before we go you can watch me clean up a little bit of this so uh I'd like to thank you if you stop by to watch the video. I hope uh, I hope the video was a little bit helpful if you're new to the game. If you like these types of games, I definitely love these simulation survival genre games. They're they're definitely my favorites. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all good. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for this episode, folks. Just going to get rid of... I know I don't need this. I know I don't need that. Just going to get rid of that stuff. Kind of make it a little bit nicer, a little tidier. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. This is RP Gaming playing Ranch Simulator. And we'll see you on the next one.